How's it going, everybody? Happy Friday. It's uh, August 21st, 2024. This is Bill Avalos with Inspection Pro. Uh, I've been doing this, uh, appraisals since 1998, so I kind of know what I'm doing. But what I want to show you here today, I, I'm, I'm getting ready to do some pick some comps for, uh, for an appraisal I have. But what I want to show you what's going on in the market so you can see for yourself. If you look down here, you can see average days on the market, how many new uh, numbers of listings, a number of active listings on the market. But this covers the whole spectrum of the MLS. Real estate is local to the area that you're looking for. So some areas are going to be higher, some are going to be lower. But let's just say we go here and then we're going to go to uh, okay, we're gonna search, detail. Let's just say we want to look at uh, active. Those are, those are your active listings. Single family residence. Let's just say we're going to go here, uh, San Bernardino. Let's choose uh, Chino. So, right here shows that there's 70 listings right now in the city of Chino. Okay, so click the results. Now, if you see down here the, uh, the arrows going downward, those are drop, price drops. So one, two, three, and then you go to the next one, four, five, six, seven, go to the next one, eight, nine, ten. So there's, you know, you continue, you can see that there's a good amount that have uh, dropped in price, not a high percentage, but it's, it's creating a trend right there, okay? So uh, let's pick another city. Let's just say we go back to criteria, Let's just say we're gonna, instead of Chino, we're going to go to uh, Ontario or Fontana, and I'm picking I'm picking areas that are that are still you do have activity. You have 177 matches there, so okay, let's go to the results here. This is Fontana. There's 177 listings. Price drop, price drop, price drop, price drop, price drop right here. Okay, and then. Everything that you see with the down arrow, those are price drop. So, and these are actually in, in the six and seven hundreds. Uh, those are out there in Fontana right now. So, you know, people say, well, they're priced out of the market. Well, you know, it's really more because uh, the interest rate. We see all these going down right here. Okay, so let's just say, we, what, what is this one right here? Seven, sixty-seven, five hundred. Uh, and so, see that right there? It was it, it listed for eight hundred seven thousand five hundred, and they dropped it down to seven sixty seven five hundred. And there, and it's a good size house. Look, it's four bedrooms, three baths, thirty five hundred square feet. That's a good size house. Look at that right there. And you would think, hey, this somebody would have just bought it right away but in the 800s the market just it's it's really not there so that's why you know, it's a nice house i might have to make an offer myself but that's a nice house though so uh that's what's going on fantastic so there are have there are having price drops and the reason why I'm, I'm bringing this to your attention because you may be thinking well you know what uh, i'm gonna wait for the market to drop uh and then i'm gonna get a bargain or whatever so what we're seeing are there are price drops but it's not like a crashing type of um drop but there are you know if you go out there there are there are uh deals going on that you know 807 to 767 and they just they did this change uh last week so let's pick another city. Let's just go to criteria right here. Let's just say I was going to go look for uh, Ontario. People are buying. People are still buying here in the in the Ellen Empire, but it's getting tough because of the uh, the interest rates, you know. And then people haven't qualified. So right here in the city of Ontario, there's a hundred and uh, eleven. So let's just take a look at that. Let me hit it back on here. Price drop, price drop, price. There's not a lot, but there are, they are happening. 
if anything, you know, what I recommend, if you're a realtor looking at this, see all those going down right there? Uh, when you're going to list a property, don't list it on the high end because it's going to sit there. Some of the, I'm pretty sure some of these, they just sat there and that's why they had to drop the price. Or, you know, the, the seller's like, well, I don't, I'm not going to list it unless you give me my money. Okay, then you list it high, then you tell me, hey, we're going to have that conversation, you know, in... Uh, after about a month, if you want to get it sold, we may have to drop the price. So it is happening uh, at different areas. Let me get out of here for now. So just want to give you just a little market, uh, you know, recap. The things are uh, changing in the market right now uh, for for uh, buyers, agents. Now the listing agent can't offer them a commission on the MLS, but there's other ways around that too. So I'm not going to go too much on the realtor side, but just, you know, on the, on the appraisal side, I just want to show you that I'm out there every day. And I, so I, I see properties, I appraise properties and, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, when you make, you make an offer as a buyer and you want them to include the closing costs, you want them to, uh, put on top of the, uh, the the asking price. Here comes along Mr. Appraiser, and he kills your deal because he has he has rules that he has to follow. Um, he can't just say, okay, yeah, sure, here here you go, whatever you know. Uh, your deal gets killed, and then everybody everybody's always mad at the appraiser. Everybody, the agent, man, you killed my deal. The buyer, the effing appraiser, you know. But really, we we have people we have to answer to as well. And if we were to just give you prices just to make, you know, just make this deal happen, we're not advocates for the transaction. We're a neutral party or we're supposed to be a neutral party. But anyways, just a little quick short recap. Uh, things are changing in the market. There are prices that are uh, dropping in certain areas. Um, if it's 10, 15,000, that's not really a big drop, but 50,000, 80,000 that, you know, kind of changes the market. It makes it more desirable, but just make sure that, uh, you know, as of August 17th, if you're a buyer, either you're going to pay the commission because you have to sign a buyer agent agreement, or you're going to ask the seller to cover the, your agent's, uh, commission or if you're going to tack it on to the sales price, you know, you're really taking a chance if, uh, if, if it doesn't comp out. So by comp out, I mean, you know, the sales just aren't there for that additional 20, 30,000 or whatever you want to add to the sales price. So just be aware of that. Okay. Um, if you want to, if you want me to answer any questions for you, you can always DM me on, on, uh, or write questions or whatever, or subscribe, and I will uh, I will get back to you. Thank you.